This video is designed for new users of the Medmon E300 corneal topographer. It's designed to help you get started and provide a brief orientation of the basic operations and functions available with your Medmon. Start by opening up the Medmon software, then go over to Configure and Calibrate Instrument. Follow the calibration wizard along or review the calibration video available on this same website. Once you've optimized your MedMont for capture, then you're ready to create and capture a map on a particular patient. Go over to Home and click on New. Then you can enter in your patient details and you're ready to capture topography. Then go up to the corneal topography icon and you have the option to do a single map capture. You can do a composite capture, which allows you to image 100% of the cornea, or you can do a video capture, which is ideal for dry eye assessment. When we look at this patient file, we can see a little arrow is right next to the patient name, indicating there's information in this file. We can click once on the arrow, or double click on the patient name to open up the file. Then we see that there's multiple rights and multiple lefts saved in that particular file. If we were to click on one single topography, then go up to the view tab, we can see we have the details option selected. The details icon allows you to change when you've accidentally saved a left as a right or a right as a left, or if we've saved the wrong map into a different patient file. If you need to alter wherever a map is saved, the details icon is the function you're going to click on. Otherwise, the normal map view is image. And under the image view, we can view up to four maps simultaneously. We could select the right eye first, the left eye second. That way you see the right eye on the left side, the left eye on the right side, as we would view the patient through a microscope or instrument. The comparison map is a way to compare the same eyes over time. If we were doing orthokeratology, we can compare the baseline right from the post ortho-K right and analyze the change in shape over time. So comparison maps are used in orthokeratology. They're used to assess diseased patients over time, a keratoconic patient, to see if there are any modifications or progressions in the disease from last year's visit to this year's visit. We can scroll over to the combination view and click on one single topography, and that allows us to view this individual map multiple different ways. In this case, an axial, then the photo keratoscope image, so we can expand and view the rings to determine if this was a quality capture. We can see the tangential map and the elevation map. So the combination view allows you to view the same topography multiple different ways simultaneously. However, the most common way to view maps in your Medmont is with the image view selected. Again, this allows us to select a right eye and a left eye and see them simultaneously or up to four maps at once. We can scroll over to the display tab and change the interpretation from axial to tangential to elevation as the most common analysis options. Axial may be the most common way you'll view your topographies. This is the best way to interpret the astigmatism. Is it with the rule? Is it against the rule? Is it oblique? Is it regular? Is it irregular? Is it apical, such as in this case, or is it limbus to limbus astigmatism? We can check or uncheck these boxes to determine which way we like to view our topography. So under the display tab, by checking or unchecking these boxes or altering any of the options here, we can optimize how the images are displayed based on our own personal preferences. If we go down to the data tab at the bottom, 
we can see the disease detection indices, the IS, SAI, and SRI value. If they all light up in green, that indicates a normal eye. If the disease detection indices are coming up in yellow, then that indicates that you have an eye that may be concerning or riding the border between normal and abnormal. If the disease detection indices come up as red, that indicates an abnormal eye, most likely a diseased eye. We can go up to the annotation tab and add different measurements or callouts to each individual topography. For instance, if we click on this topography, we want to measure the visible iris diameter. We can select ruler, click the cursor on the one side, dragging it through the middle, going white to white on the other side. And we measure this patient's visible iris as approximately 12 millimeters. If we right click, we can delete that annotation. We could add a callout for instance, if this, is, this area had grade 2 staining, we can add that information in here, and that keeps that annotation on file on this particular map until you click on that annotation, right-click, and delete. If we would desire to print these maps, we can click on the right, hold down the control key, select the left eye, then we could go up to File, Print Preview, click OK. And that brings up a rendered image of the topographies that we would like to print. If you want to save this as a digital file, such as a PDF or a JPEG, you can click on the File icon here and save it somewhere that you can find it, such as your desktop. More commonly, you may be sending the topographies to your RGP lab for consultation, either for design of a new patient's RGP lens, or if you're needing consultation in an ortho -K fit, you could select your baseline rights, your post-treatment rights, select any number of topographies, then go up to File and Export. Then save the file somewhere you can find it, like your desktop. You can alter the name to be the same as the patient. And then save the file as an MXF file. And click Save. And what this will do is it will allow you to export 100% of the topography data to your lab. They can then import the topographies into their MedMon software and have the same analysis and functionality that you have. So simply attach the file that's created in your email software and send it to your desired recipient. For more information on each of the specific functions of the MedMon, view the additional videos provided with this website.